Hello everyone, and it's me again, Sean, and you can catch me at simplesean.com. Today we're going to be looking at one of these. I'm starting to love dealing with these machines. This is a Eufy 11 Robovac, designed to go around the house, give it a good clean when you're around, when you're not around. So, there to make your life a lot easier. However, this one has developed a fault. I bought this off eBay, it cost me £35 plus £8 delivery, so 43 overall. And this one has a problem of spinning around in a circle. So I'm going to ask you the question, can I fix it? So as I said before, this thing has a reported issue of turning around in circles. So without further ado, let's turn it on and see what happens. First and foremost, there will be a on off switch just there. Turn that on. There we go. Nice confirmatory beep. Yeah, spinning around in a circle is definitely not a happy chappy here. And there you go, the machine has errored out. Clearly, it seems to be an issue with this wheel here as it is spinning around in a circle. This wheel is just basically taking it around and around in a circle while this one's not spinning at all. The machine has noticed that there is a problem and so stopped itself. So, let's turn it over, open it up and see what we can do. So if you have a look at the bottom here, let me stop this beeping. So if we have a look here, let me just pull this out. If you have a look here, so the red indicator was steadily on and it was one beep. So it goes there, RoboVax wheel is stuck. So it already knows that there is a problem with the wheel. So it kept on spinning around in a circle and already from what I can feel, if you can hear that, this wheel is acting fine. But that one, look, it's just free spinning. So there's absolutely no resistance, no, there doesn't seem to be anything going on in here. So I don't know again, could be a faulty cog assembly but we definitely know the issue with this, is with this wheel. So let's open this up and see what's going on. Oh, I'm looking at that, that's popped out. Did I take that out? I don't think I did. Which leads me to believe someone else may have already been in here. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Okay, no worries, we're still gonna plow on because it definitely sounds wrong. If you see, it's not supposed to be freewheeling. It's supposed to have a bit of a bit of tension a bit of push and we're not getting that which makes me feel that the cog assembly just like we saw in my previous video has either worn out or something's gone loose and slipped so let's have a look oh okay how are we going to take this out okay this looks quite closed with a mechanism up here Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do, and this is just a punt, I don't know if this will work. I'm going to start by trying to remove this pin. It's the only thing that I think, like, if I can remove this pin, then maybe it can slide out. So for this, I'm just going to try and use some tweezers and then probably need to get some pliers out to pull it out. Let's see if we can do this. So I need to get push this pin down to get it out here and then 
I'm assuming pull it out. I don't know. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this on this particular model. So let's try. And that doesn't seem to be uh, pushing it out at all. I'm wary because obviously I've got my hand underneath this and I don't want to go and poke it straight away. That might hurt a little bit. No, that's not moving. Hmm, how am I going to do this? You would think it's pretty easy to get the pin out from there to there. However, you've got this thing in the way. Um, and it doesn't look like you can shuffle it out the way or, or anything. And you see, it's in the way, so the pin is literally just there. But I can't get this out the way. Oh, so it does move. Um, <laughs> I've kind of pushed it in the wrong direction, though. So this is this is definitely not my cleverest of moves. Um, yeah, I need to move that back. Got myself into this mess. Time to get myself out of it. Okay, so it is moving now. Maybe I'll be able to poke it through with this pliers. Perfect. It's moving through just a little bit. Maybe I can grab it. Let's see if I can get it through any more to get a better purchase. There we go, there we go. It's moving now. So, if we can now pull this out of the way. Yes. We should. Okay, it wants to stay in, it wants to stay in. Why does it want to stay in? That screw will be the oh, screw. That spring will be the reason why it wants to stay in. So let's try and unhook this screw. The uh, spring. Don't know why I'm calling it a screw. Let's get this spring out of the way. There we go. There we go. It should and perfect. Comes right off. Okay, so that's. A little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky. I definitely don't want you to get in there. So, let's see what's going on behind here. This underneath. So you've got the wheel here. You've got the motor here. And if you've seen my previous one, you know that inside of here, you've got some cogs. So the motor drives the cogs, which drives the wheels. Okay. Now we just lift off this cover. And here we are. So immediately something doesn't look right. And yes, already, if you have a look in there, you've got white bits and pieces. So here, it's supposed to lie a cog. Just on this, this spoke here. It's supposed to be a cog with teeth that will marry up with this thing here. However, looking at it, it's completely disintegrated. So you've got teeth in there. You've got teeth also in here. Let's see if I can use this. There's one. We've got a few more here. So I don't know what's happened. For this to happen, it's a complete and utter failure. 
of a cog or a piece of gear that should be here. So let's just move this out of the way. I don't know if you can see it, but there are many, many white bits and pieces in here. So you have that there. That's a bit of tooth, a bit of the gear that's fallen off. You've got another one here, which has fallen off. I don't know how they've had such a complete failure for that to work. It has literally shedded off every single tooth that would have been glued or affixed to here, which means that all of this stuff is spinning and nothing is there to, uh, nothing's there to help spin that last bit. So if I put this back in, oh, okay. So here we go. If you have a look at the bottom of, of this. So here you've got teeth, the top teeth, which go, let me just zoom out a bit. So here you've got the top teeth. Oh, sorry, rather here you've got the bottom teeth, which join onto this bit here. So this face is down. So those teeth link up with those. So if I spin, you see that everything up to here is spinning. However, the bit that is supposed to connect to here and spin these has completely sheared off. So here is actually a smooth circle when actually there should be teeth there. So, I'm going to have to find another set of cogs, which is going to be a bit difficult. Um, but I did, for my previous, for my previous uh, Yuffie, buy a whole load of cogs. Hopefully, I can find one that fits here. I'm not holding out too much hope, but let's see what we can do. Back in a minute. I can't believe it, guys. Today is my lucky day. I looked in my bag of tricks for another one of these, this cog here with all the teeth that have been shorn off. And look, look, I have found one. Same size, same fit, same everything. So today is my lucky day. This big bag of cogs has really, really saved my life. So we're going to put this back in. Hopefully everything will spin, including the wheel when we do. If it does, then we know that we've got this back on the path to being a working machine yet again. So, fingers crossed, let's see if this works. So if I remember, this goes downwards this way, slots in between that and that. And if we turn, there you go, everything is now turning. Can you see? Oh, maybe not now. Oh, this has slipped up. Okay. There you go. Everything is turning now. Everything is turning how it should be. This is brilliant. Happy days. Happy days. So if I move this wheel as well. Oh, this keeps on popping up. But there you go. Everything moves, which is exactly what we want. Now, let's get the cover on top of this so this stops popping out. And then give it a test. Hopefully... We've got it working. Say goodbye to all of those little teeth that broke off as well. So, switch it on, flip it over, press the button, and see what happens.
And there we go. It's off on one. It's doing what it needs to do. Going straight underneath to give my place a good hoover. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's going around in circles, going in a straight line. It knows what it's doing. It's turning around. Sorry about the interrupt there. It's turning around. It's doing what it needs to do. Fantastic, guys. This is working. So I'll get the front rotary brushes. But there you go. Very, very, very simple problem. It was a bit difficult to open it. Some faulty teeth on a cog. But we got it working. It's doing what it needs to do. It's going into the bedroom. I'm not going to follow it. My bedroom is full of boxes. So I'm going to be moving out soon. But guys, thank you so much for watching yet another video. I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoy fixing those little machines. I think they're absolutely wonderful. So, um, yeah, while well, that goes around Hoover in the house, I guess I'll say thank you very much. I'll see you next time. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon too, so you know when new videos come out. I'm going to aim to do this around once a week. I hope you find all of this really interesting. I'm just going to literally spend the rest of the time just watching this little thing go around the house, giving it a good tidy, giving it a good clean. If you would like something like an honest review as well, please let me know in the comments. I will happily do that. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great time, and I'll see you again soon.